Hello everybody, welcome to episode number four of One Stamp Set Deal. And this time I'm going to use my bright and beautiful stamp set. It comes in two cases, that is one stamp set. has eight stamps and they are like some are pretty big that you will need one of those big blocks. And I'm going to show you how I create this card. This card is actually and one that is similar to the one on the catalog, on the holiday catalog. This one right here, on page 25. I just, I was inspired for that, and for that card. So I just made pretty much the same, just changed a little bit. But so I wanna show you how I create this card right here. And I'm gonna use my cherry cover and bar stock. Hold it in half, get it ready. And then and for this one, we are gonna use um, embossing powder. We're gonna use the big star first. And let me get a paper. There is, oh. And we're gonna use that cherry cover cardstock with my person mag. Tap, 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 tap. And then I'm gonna use my embossing uh, body. And I'm just gonna stamp. My block is not big enough for my stamp. So I'm gonna have to press hard on these little areas. And pull it out. And then I'm going to use my stuffing embossing powder um, in white. I'm just going to pour some of these. You see? Oops, I'm grabbing the wrong paper. This one is the one that I've been using for white. And I need to make 12 of these cards for a card exchange. And so trying to be organized with this and let's go back this is the cool thing about embossing powder that you just use a little bit and this thing lasts forever then I'm gonna use my heat gun heat it up for a few seconds one two three and then I'm just gonna heat up the embossing and let it melt very very pretty I don't know about you but I do really love use my embossing butter oops <laughs> so and then I'm gonna use my magnetic board and my big shot cook to cut this and of course I already have one that is being cut right here and then we're gonna use the other one the other star right here we are gonna use the second star and we're going to do the same on white cardstock. So then you have one more. I have it ready right here. Already stamped it and embossing and run it through my big shot. I have one more little star that goes on top. Okay, so to, to do this part, and I'm gonna use the one that says, wish you a bright and beautiful Christmas and New Year's the shines and happiness. I'm gonna use this stem set as my sentimental on the bottom of my paper. So, actually, I got the texture on this side. 
Okay, so first I'm gonna put my my stars just to see how how far I want them. Let's see, right there. Where did the other one was? Okay, doesn't matter. Oh, right here. That. <laughs> okay, so I want my star right there. So my sentimental, I actually want it right here on the bottom there. But first, let's ink it up with Memento, Tuxedo Black. Okay, I want it very, very black. And then, uh, let's see, let's fix it. I don't need this one right now. Actually, I do. Is that center? No, right there. So I'm just gonna stamp it straight on my cardstock. Right here. And that, I don't know, my star. Okay, very pretty. Now, um, for this part right here, what I did is I used my awesome marker because I don't have the ink pad and cherry cover ink pad so I grabbed my marker and what I did after cleaning my stamp of course I just um, write on this part right here in the middle and then I stamp it on my vanilla paper and cut it like this okay and then I'm gonna place it right on top and I'm gonna need Let's put it together and we'll be done.